two new faces today. Okay. Anyway, um, we are in the factors and multiples lesson. Okay. It is better that if you have watched my previous recording before you join to the today class. Other class secretary in the calling or no go look. recording like a balala vanang other lesson like how put the picture less even Anyway, I will just remember what are these two words, multi factors and multiples. Okay, just uh, here I will give you a small sentence. We can say put the factory produce muffins. Okay, likewise, factors product multiples. Okay, factory a cup muffin. Okay, that only muffin need a color to the muffin produce karano bake factors product. Multiples factor ka product ka again factors satra din product ka mono da pata dene multiples factory produce muffins likewise factors produce multiples okay then if you are asked to write the multiples of five okay then how we write uh, find the multiples of five Pahe guna kara kira kira of the same heading, the Pahe guna kara tickle yanaku. Write the multiples of five. Then what do you have to do? If you have to write the first multiple of five, then you have to multiply five by one. Then five into one answer is five. Okay. Then if you have to find the Seven multiple of five. So you have to multiply five by seven. Then answer is thirty-five. Okay. Then you how we identify the factor as a fin. Factors, product, multiples. Then fact product. Product is the leaving common. Factors like this is we call the product, and the numbers that we have used to write the product are called the factors. Then the result or the output of the fact, uh, product between factors is called the multiple. Okay, then factors produce or uh, factors product. Multiples. Okay, for this one, we call this expression. It is the product. Okay, this is what we discussed last week, and also we identify the prime factors. Okay, when it comes to the factors, after factors, what are the factors? The factors are the numbers that we use to obtain multiples, or we can say. Factors are the numbers that we can use to divide numbers without reminder. Okay, reminder ka na tuwe kya ne? Apni an sankhya vak bidu kame ke answer ka zero. Har the me vidhi hada ena ek an sankhya vak yam kis sankhya vak kim bidu ham answer ka zero nangi bidu kis sankhya vada pige na va factor ka kela. Okay, then if you have to find the Factors of 24. Let's identify. We can write 24. 1 into 24. Ah. If we have 1 times 24, we can obtain 24. That means we can say 1 and 24 are factors of 24. And we can obtain 2 into 12. We can obtain 24. By 2 into 12. 2 into 12, we can obtain 24. Okay. So, 2 and 12 are factors of 24. What is? How we can obtain 24? 24 can be How we have been? 3 into 8. We can obtain 24. Ah, that means we can say 3 and 8 are factors of 24. What is 6 into 4? Ah, then we can obtain 24 by multiplying 6 and 4. So we can identify separate how many factors are there. 1, 
two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, twenty-four. Are the factors of twenty-four. Let me tell you another twenty-four value factor. Okay. Then you know that if particular number has only two factors, they are called as. Ever topic you know, mono feel other. The numbers which have only two factors, factors they can't be there. That means prime numbers. Prime numbers. That means one and itself. Okay, you know how the one and me, mama, saha, ek, ek saha, mama, kya lagya na kula har. Eva ke eva topic kya na wa prime numbers kya la har. If particular number has prime number. As there are factors, okay? Then me bala na ko twenty four wala factors liya gat ka hama. Apat siya na wala ng mga prime numbers ya the factors si diya ta liya bila. Bala me kaya tama liya bila siya na wala siya la. Yes, you can identify two is a prime number because it has only one and two as there are as its factors. Three, one and three. Is are the only factors of three. So two and three are considered as the prime factors. Okay, prime factors. Again, mukhtar me unne prime numbers be na wana me am kisi sankhya vakhe factors vidhi vakhe apni ekta te kiya na wana prime numbers ne ve prime factors kiya la. हर प्राइम नंबर का अपना तमाय है बे ये आमे फैक्टर्स को डे तो ले इंक्लूडेड ना देन वी कॉल्ड इट एस प्राइम फैक्टर्स ओके सो व्हाट आर द प्राइम फैक्टर्स ऑफ़ ट्वेंटी फोर दे आर टू एंड थ्री ओके देन इफ यू आर आस्क टू राइट ट्वेंटी फोर एस अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ़ प्राइम फैक्टर्स ओके व्हाट इस मीन बाय � Twenty-four लिया ने लो product of prime factors एक ही ने पुते twenty-four should be obtained by multiplying only prime factors. It can be only not only one time because two into three is six now. More than one time we can do this repeatedly using two and three. Let's see how we do this. बालों में आपको हम इधर नेहो समय पे लास्ट वीक के के डिस्कस कर रहे थे वर्क आई जस्ट रिमेम्बर ये व्हाट वी हैव डन सो फार ओके देन लेट्स सी वी टेक ट्वेंटी फोर एंड टू आईडेंटिफाई हाउ वी ट्राइ ट्वेंटी फोर एस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ प्राइम नंबर्स देन व्हाट हाउ मेरी टाइम्स वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस नंबर्स ओके टू आईडेंटिफाई � we have to divide 24 repeatedly using only prime numbers. Prime numbers with the rock use karala. If not, I mean, prime factors, you know, of it. If I with the rock use karala, I mean, 24 divide karala. Okay, let's divide this one. Balam of it, Vedan. I take the two initially. Then we can see how many two set in two. It is one. How many two sit in four? It's two. Okay. Then again, we can say twelve can be divided by two. How many two sit in twelve? It's six. Again, we can divide six by two. It's three. Again, divide by three because three cannot be divided by two, so we divide it by three because three is also a prime factor. Okay, then we can write that twenty four is equals to. We can take all these prime factors to multiply two into two into two into three. Okay, then this is we call the product of. Prime factors. 
identify Look at how we do this. If I write like this, then I take the whole product, then it is equal to 24. So I can write 1 into 24. So 1 and 24 are factors of 20. And we can write, again, I write this product. Then I take 2 only and 2 into 2 into 3 separate. So I can write 2 into 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3 is 12. 2 into 12, uh, 2 and 12 are factors of 24. Next, I take 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Yeah. Then 2 into 2 and 2 into 3, I take it as separately. So 4 into 6 is a 1 particular way that we can write. Then here 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Other different ways this one. 8 into 3. Ah, then we can identify what are the factors of 24. Look at this 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. They are the Eight factors for 24. We can obtain these using by writing 24 as a product of prime factors. Okay. These are the things that we discussed last week. Did you refresh what we have done? And the so have joined today itself. Other me join with the card theater. Maybe school like a curl at the one now. Then, Mata Quinn at the Kira Makitano, Himanatang, all to Podi, um, okay, the refreshment take up when at the Monada Pirip, Perlati and the Kira. Further, is did you understand this is what about the factors and multiples? Today, we are going to move to the different part, it is also relevant to factors, but not about the only factors but identifying the highest common factor okay of given particular numbers dilatina numbers highest common factor then putte ogolu hontalata mataka kiya ganna factor ekak kiyala kiyanne ekak apata kiyanna puluwan factors are used to obtain multiples that means we can use factors uh, to obtain particular number. If we can write a number as a product of two numbers, those numbers are called the factors of that number. Okay, it is another thing. Other thing is factors, this is the most important definition. Factors are the numbers that we use to divide a particular number without reminder. Okay, a can a itulua natua, a pita bedana puluan, sankia, monamatikia huo, anna apirkiando no utter ticket mamai factors. They are the factors ticket. What are the numbers that we can use to divide 24? 24 divide karanda, a pita use karanda, a pita use karanda puluan any number. But there is a reminder, okay? Then without reminder. ඉතින් Itu ruwak na. Hari itu mei wat tamai apa tiada ni. 
factors kiyala. Etagoru hondata patata tiya ganna factors kiyanne api use karanawa mokata the numbers divide karanne. Can without reminder. Without reminder to divide the numbers we use the factors. Factors use karanne menna me data. Okay. Then we when you are given uh, some more than uh, two or oh, sorry more than one number that means it is, can be two numbers three numbers four or five okay we have to identify what is the largest possible number that we can use to divide all these numbers you may think that there are two particular numbers i will take the five and ten okay i can divide five what are the factors of five what are the factors of five it is one and five we can divide 5 by 1. We can divide 5 by 5. That's only. There's no any other factor. No, there's no any number to divide 5. Then 10. 10 can be divided by 1. What else? You can buy. It can be done. Then you divide by 1. It is 10. What is the other number? We can divide 10. The hybrid and planet number. Can you There are four people. Yes, come on, guys. Two. Sorry. Two. Two. Very good. We can divide 10 by 2. And 10 five. can be divided by 5. Very good. Okay. These are the only numbers that we can use to divide 10. The hybridan pulwans, ekama sankhya chikam in the megulu, vitarai. Then we are the penawa, there are common factors, no? For the 5 and 10. Pahai the hai got the common factors, you know, look at 1 is common and 5 is also common. Then we discuss about the highest common factor. That means the largest number that can be used to divide 5 and 10 both. Pahai the hai dekama vedan pulwa vishalama sankhya vakhaudhena. It is 5. Okay. This is we call the highest common factor of 5 and 10. Or we can call it as HCF. Highest common factor. HCF. Okay. Did you understand? Yes, madam. Did you understand? Yes, madam. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then write the subtopic. Finding, oh sorry, highest common factor equal highest common divisor. Also. Highest common factor of a number. This we call H C F. H C F. Okay, get H C F here. Here.
Okay, then I, what is mean by highest common factor? The largest possible number that can be used to divide. The largest common number here, the largest common number. Okay? The largest common number that can be used to divide a given list of numbers without reminder. Without reminder is called the highest common factor. Okay, Taida. Are you finished the writing? Hello? Yes, yes, madam. Girls? Yes, madam. Okay. Then you see how we find the highest common factor by listing their Factors, okay? Okay, then write the subtopic. Finding the highest common factor of the use Listing factors method. Okay, this is one method to find the HCF of a list of numbers. Okay. 
then it is done by like this as I did in the previous example. Find the highest common multiple of five and ten. Then how we do this? We write the factors of five. What are the factors of five? One and five. Then we list out the factors of ten. It's one. Two, ten. And then HCF can be identified. Also here one, two, five, and ten. Okay. Then what is the in the previous case I have forgotten to write ten. No. Then what is the highest common factor? It's five. Then highest common factor is. We can obtain 10 by 1 into 10, 2 into 5. So 1, 2, 5, 10 are the factors of 10. Write down. Okay, Pute, then let's see how we find the, the example two. Find the highest common multiple of Six and two. Okay. Can you do this one? So let's take it as eight and two. Six and two. Six and two. Try to do this one by listing um, sorry, by listing factors method. Okay. How we do this? We have to write the factors of faith. Can you list out the factors of faith? What are the factors? Well, eight can be obtained by one into eight. Then two into four. Is there any other method to obtain the eight? It's what a atagan they were a Hataragan Pulua. How we did the end of the Pitakagan Pulua? The end of the land. No other way. So we can write what are the factors of faith? It is one, two, four, and eight. No? Then write the factors of twelve. How we can obtain twelve? Over twelve, Gan Pulua. The one times two. One times twelve. One times twelve. What else? Uh, oh. two times six. Two times six. Good. What else? Four times three. Four times three. Four times three. Or oh, we can write three times four. Both are correct. Okay. So, what are the factors of 12? We can list out 1, 2, 
Three, four, six, twelve. Ah, these are the common factors of eight and twelve. Then what is the HCF? Identify the HCF. Four. Highest common factor. Very good. Highest common factor is four, no? Because one is also common, two is also common, but the highest one is four. Highest common factor is four. Did you understand? I have the little. Yes, teacher. Shall we try another one? I will try it again. Are you ready? Third example. Find the highest common. I need to get not the multiple. Okay, here. This should be not multiple, it should be factor. Okay. Please make that correction. It should be factor. I have written the multiple, it should be highest common factor. Highest common factor. Okay, highest common factor in a green. Okay, find the highest common. Factor of twelve and twenty. Okay, try this one. Highest common factor. We are discussing about the numbers that we can use to divide the given list of numbers. Okay. Then first of all, you have to list out the Factors of 12 and 20. Then what are the way that we can obtain 12? These are the way. No? So you can write the factors. This 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, Okay. What is the other method? One times twenty. Yes, one times twenty. No. Two times ten. Two times ten. Very good. Okay. Four times five. Four times five. Okay, that's only no. Then we can write the factors. They are one, two, four, five, ten. 20. These are the factors of 20. Then what is the HCF? Yes, identify the HCF. 4. What four. is common? 2 is common. Next, 4 is common. Then HCF is 4. four. Okay, did you understand this? Shall we yes. do another one? Fourth one. Example four. Okay. Find the highest common factor of six, comma, twelve, and eighteen. Uh, there are three numbers given. So you have list out the their factors. Miss. You have to list out the factors of three numbers. Numbers two not the factors are unknown. Balance is turn six, twelve, eighteen. List out this.
Okay, let's see. What are the numbers that we can use to obtain six? It is one. One times six. One times six. What is? Three times two. Ah, that means two times three, no? So what are the factors of six? We can list one, two, three, six. These are the factors of six. Then again, let's identify the factors of 12. 12 can one be... 1 times 12. 1 times 12. Twelve. 2, two times 6. 3 times 4. 4. Then what are the factors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Okay? Then 18. 18 can be obtained by... One, One times time 18. 18. Yes. What is? Two times? Two times nine. Two times nine. Two times nine. What is? Six times three. Six times three. Okay. Or oh, three times six. These are the way that we can obtain 18. So we can write 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. These are the factors of 18. Let's identify common factors. 1, 2, 3, 6. Ah, then what is the HCF today? Six. Six. HCF is six. Okay, very good. Huh? Shall we do another one? It is twelve, comma twenty, and 36. 12, 20, and 36. It is the fifth example. How we can write the 12? Now we have write several times uh, 12. It's 1 into 12, 2 into 6, 3 into 4. Then what are the uh, factors of 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, 20. So okay, then 20. How we can obtain 20? 20 can be obtained. Just tell me, Yan Barana. What are the ways that we can obtain 20? One times 20? One times 20. Yes. What else? Like uh, five times five. 
two times, two times ten. ten. Yes, we can write one, two, four, five, ten, twenty. These are the factors of twenty. Then you can see when I write the factors, I am writing in ascending order, no? From smallest to largest, because it makes us easier us to identify the highest common factor easily. Okay, let's go to thirty-six. How we can obtain thirty-six? I will write one into thirty-six. What else? Two into eighteen. Two into eighteen. Yes. Nine into four. Nine into four. What is three into three into? Who can be there? Oh, what do I know? Three into twelve. No, three into two six. Three into one three. Then we can list one two. Three, four, nine, twelve, eighteen, thirty-six. Okay, let's identify common factors. They are one, two, four. Only no. Is there any other factors? No. The highest common factor is four. 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 Very good. The highest common factor is four. Okay, put it. This is how we obtain the highest common factor by listing the factors. Factors list out karala. Me na me vidhi hota tamai apni hoya karne ya alage highest common factor. What is mean by highest common factor? That is the highest common number. Okay, or the highest common possible number that is used to divide the given list of numbers. Okay, me di la ti na hammer number ekak ma divide we na na tapi ke na divisible we na number ek highest number highest common number ek tamai apni ke na highest common factor. Okay. There are some occasions that we have to use this. If all of us somehow, somehow, we are able to do it. If we hurry it up, identify the gun. Do any occasion? Any kind of occasion? I will discuss some kind of uh, occasions later. Okay, mama. Ah, uh, even though we are thinking about that, can I? Okay, then let's move to the uh, other method of finding the highest common factor. Okay, write down copy. Find in the highest common factor using prime factor. Number, even numbers using sign Okay, then let's move to the first example. Example one. Hmm. 
find the or before that. First part, write the six. Your mark twelve and eighteen as the product of prime numbers. Prime factors. Prime factors. Then second part, find the HCF of 6, 12, and 18. First of all, write down this one. I will explain it from the beginning. Okay, are you finished with the writing? Okay, then let's divide. 6 should be divided by prime numbers to identify what are, what, how we write this as a product of prime factor. 6 divided by 2, it's 3. 3 divided by 3, it's 1. Then 12, 12 also divide. 12 divided by 2, it's 6. 6 divided by 2, it's 3. 3 divided by 3, it's 1. 18 divided by 2, it's 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay? Then how we write this as the product of prime factors? 6 is written as 6 equals to 2 multiplied by 3. 12 is equals to 2 into 2 into 3. 18 is equals to 2 into 3 into 3. Okay? You have to write the numbers as a product of prime factors like this. Then to find the highest common factor, HCF, is obtained by, you have to choose the common factors. 2 is common, no? Look at here. 2 is common. 3, 1, 3 is also common. The 3 is common. Then you have to write the common factors. The product between common factors are obtained as the HCF. Okay? Is this clear?
Okay. Let's see. Let's do another example. For example. First of all, what you have to do, you have to take 12 and divide using prime numbers. 12 is divisible by 2, so divide. 6. 6 divisible by 2, divide. It's 3. 3 divisible by 3, it's 1. 20. It is divisible by 2, so it is 10. 10 divisible by 2, answer is 5. 5 divisible by 5, it's 1. 36 divided by 2, it's 18. Because how many 2 it in 3? 1. Remaining 1 takes to the 1, 16. How many 2 it in 16? It's 8. 18 divisible by 2, it's 9. 9 divisible by 3, it's 3. 3 divisible by 3, it's 1. Okay, now we can write 12 as the product of prime factors. 20 also can be written as product of prime factors. 36 also written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Okay. Then, what is the highest common factor? One that's only no? so HCF is equals to two into two. Two into two is the answer for the HC right.
Until we obtain one, you have to do this division. Nine divided by three, three. Three divided by three is one. Six divided by two, one says three. Again divided by three is one. Then eighteen is equals to two into three into three. Nine is equals to three into three. Six is equals to two into then what is the common factor? Common factor is three. Then H C F is equal to three. Have you got this answer? So please raise hand. May answer karagana and kuba raise hand. Okay, very good, Dhamma. Okay, then let's move to the 
one of uh, application of HCF. HCF Bavita can be as an example. Write down like this. The basket contains the basket contains placement. Um, Ninety six apples and contains sixty oranges. To be fat. Into bags such that there is an equal number. In every bag and an equal number of oranges to in every bag. And no person after we are In my question, it's written here. What is the maximum number of bags? That can be prepared. That can be prepared. The basket contains 96 apples and another basket contains 60 oranges. If these fruits are to be packed into bags such that there is an equal number of apples in every bag and equal number of oranges, two in every bag, and no uh, fruits remain 
after they are packed into the bags. What is the maximum number of bags that can be prepared? That means you have to find the highest common factor that we can divide 96 and 60. Okay, because we should be able to separate equal number of uh, amounts from the apples and orange ball. Then how we do? You can follow the uh, listing factors method do dividing by time factors method. Dividing time factors method is easy. No? You can make it uh, basket to hek apple gedi anu hayak piya no. How basket to hek apple gedi hat? No, sorry, dodang gedi hat ak piya no. How is it? Edo gote apple gedi anu hayai dodang gedi hat ai. Apni te saman bag verde dega na saman saman agari. Bags are done. Do you ever get bags? Key a kadaga and a pull one. Then he can go apple get a decagaing the other bags forty eight kadan pulua apple certa vitara sixty decagani dala orange sorry oranges decagan dala a bit of bags piha kadan pulua. Have I a bit of even away on it? Apple will look some on the puts a good oranges will look some on puts a good dala. Eva gave bags kia kadagan puluang way the kira hoyan nayon. Edo api balan doni, a no hayat bedin doni, a tap bedin doni, a bedan the pulua, common factor ekam of the kira. Okay, Amma, did you understand this part? Then find the uh, highest common factor of 96 and 60 and tell me the highest common factor.
find the highest common factor of 96 and 60. We take 96 and divide. 96 divide by 2. Let's see how many two sit in 9 is 4. Reminder is one, then 16. Three. How many is within 16? No. Eight. Eight. Ah, eight. Then how many twos within four? It's two. Two. How many twos within eight? It's four. How many twos within two? Eight. One. How many twos within four? It's twelve. Then how many two sit in twelve is six. How many two sit in six? Three. three. How many three sit in three is one? One. This is how we divide. Then we divide sixty, you know? Divide sixty. Divide by two, it's thirty. Again, divide by two, it's fifty. Again, divide by three, it's five. Divide by five, it's one. Then 96 can be written 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay, so then 60 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Okay, this is how we write these numbers as a product of prime factors. Then we choose the prime factors common to both numbers. Then we can identify HC FB C equals to 2 into 2 into 3. What is the answer? 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3 is 12. Then highest common factor is 12. Okay. Did you understand this one? There's no doubt. Okay. Okay, Pute. then we have to discuss the uh, about the least common multiple. Okay, that means the uh, the highest common uh, sorry the lowest common multiple of given list of numbers. Okay, we will discuss it by next week. Okay, then I will stop the class here. Thank you for your participation. Goodbye. God bless you. Good night. Good night, madam. Thank you, madam. Okay, bye.